Well, hello, Stife super fans. Welcome to the holidays. We had a touch of snow here over the past few days, just enough to be make it very difficult to walk a small dog, but not enough to be pretty. So you know that weird level of snow. So that's what's happening here, but Christmas lights are coming on and everything is feeling festive. So I'm very excited about that. And of course, with festivities comes Stife and happiness and toys. And one of the ways that I'd like to add a little happiness to your day and to your holidays is to share with you this unboxing that um, just came in the last day or two. I've been waiting for some light and sun to uh, illuminate this wonderful unboxing. I know a little bit about what's in the box, which makes it both fun and enticing at the same time. However, you and I will be the first to see at the same time what is in this wonderful box that came from the Midwest. It is my understanding that this box contains an item that was purchased for $10 at an antique show or booth or something like that many years ago, $10. So with that being said, shall we start the fun and unbox this box? And again, I've partially removed the paper and to make it a little bit easier and faster for you, but I'm going to try not to hurt myself and unbox this with you. I have trusty scissors that aren't terribly sharp and my hand finally has healed. So that being said, let's get the party started. I'm undoing the tape. Oops. So far, so good. So far, so good. Here we go. One, two, one more. Hardest one at the end. There we go. Okay. The most challenging part of the unboxing. Now, open it up. And here we go. All right, so remember $10 find many years ago. And this little guy has come to me finally wrapped up in bubble. Nice bubble. Mmm. Just saying. All right, let's take a look. Oh my. Oh. Oh, he's still my heart and yours, I think. Let's take a look. The reveal. Would you look at this absolutely beautiful boy? Oh, I've got a secret for you. I wasn't told about this. Looks like he's center seam. Could it get better than this? I don't think so. Would you look at this beautiful, beautiful boy? Let's take a look. Now he's wearing clothes that look to be very antique and wonderful shoes, little leather shoes. However, I do not think that these are original to him because Stife's clothing, for the most part, was felt or knitted from this time period. His little tag says, I think, I have given this teddy bear to Joe. I bought it from Mrs. Steigelman's Antiques on Broad Street and Manketo back in the 70s for $10. There you go. It is dressed just as I bought it. Love, Mom. Oh, so it has provenance as well. Let's see if he has a button. He does. Oh, it's a, it's a long trailing F button. It's a little tiny button. Now this guy is a wonderful, wonderful color. And from what I can see from his joints, I'm gonna gently take off his little outfit. And what you're gonna see sometimes, if a bear or an item has been in clothing for a long time, this is a really interesting talking point, is that, I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but he's very, Lovely cinnamon here and a little bit faded here because he wasn't covered. So the clothing often protects the coloring. He is a fabulous long trailing F center seam cinnamon bear. You do the math. What a remarkable, it's like I feel like I've hit the lottery. So let's measure this beautiful boy. He is 12. He's about 15 or 16 inches tall, 
cinnamon. He has his button, beautiful black shoe button eyes. You see his nose is embroidered in black. And you can see a little bit of felt underneath that. He has one, two, he has four claws there and four claws there. And I'm not gonna take off his pants, but from what I can tell, he appears to be in wonderful condition. And please look at his classic shape and proportions and his little back hump is coming out of his outfit. Oh, my goodness. What a beautiful, beautiful boy. How lovely and $10. Wow, that's, a, that's an amazing investment. So given all of his wonderful characteristics and alignment, this great guy is probably, I don't know, maybe 1906, 78, something like that. And um, clearly had some love to him, but uh, not a tremendous amount because he presents in such a gorgeous way over a hundred years after his debut and introduction. So. That's what I have to share from you. I think every Stife collector would love to find this under their Christmas tree. I know I certainly would. Anyway, happy holidays, Teddy hugs. I hope that Santa is generous and loving and kind to you in whatever form of Stife makes your day. This certainly has made mine. Well, thank you so much for your time. I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. And until our next get together, goodbye and super giant cinnamon teddy hugs to you. Bye for now.